getting hype when I aim up. Elevating that game up. Stepping up to the competition. Only first place, and that's how I'm living. I'm with it till they digging up my grave. Eating all the things up on my plate. Game face when I step up in the place. I was born and when I watched the other day. To that competition I'm in first place and that's how I'm living I'm winning till they digging up my grave Eating all the things up on my plate Game face when I step up in the place I was born and when I watched the other day Oh
keep it to yourself for once Oh, I think I found a new way out Way beyond your shadow doubt And I can't breathe Oh, I hope you're keeping count Of all the times you let me down And all the things you said out loud The bullshit I could cry about Sometimes and I can't seem to find a light Between the walls I built for myself right in my mind And then you came over and you showed me love that I never had seen before and now, when I got you, it's all gonna be alright Thinking about all the things we did tonight What a time to be alive Just you and I
Getting hyped when I aim up Elevating that game up Stepping up to the competition Only first place, so that's how I'm living I'm with it till they digging up my grave Eating all the things up on my plate Welcome then ladies and gentlemen to Simplay Motorsport for your Friday night GTE action. Not sure where everybody is. Hopefully we get more people coming later in the night. But we're in the penultimate round here at Watkins Glen. The early hours of the morning here at Watkins Glen in the pouring rain so far. Someone watching my personal stream. Guys, whoever's watching the personal stream, head over to Simplay Motorsport on their YouTube channel. Leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And also get yourself in the comment section to let us know that you're there and watching. I'm Matthew Duffin, joined in the commentary box by uh, Jamie Brazier tonight. Jamie, how are you? I'm very well. Uh, thank you, Matthew. How are you? Yeah, very good, thank you, buddy. Watkins Glen, a track we've not seen here at Simplay Motorsport. What's it going to bring us tonight? Well, I'll say Watkins Glen's quite quite a nice flowing circuit. It looks like a track that's e there's for the cars looks like an easy to follow track so as we now get Gary 131 in yeah so hopefully it should bring some uh, some good racing if the cars are able to follow quite quite closely it looks like and it looks like quite a few overtaken opportunities as well it does indeed then as we are here tonight at Watkins Glen and we if you missed last night where was you you'd missed a heck of a good GT3 race round of buying Gary in tonight unfortunately he wasn't there last night to celebrate it, to try and hold on to his title but we do want to say a massive congratulations to an orthodox 16 on his pro championship the pro and pro -am have been decided and dan is the season three winner as well as the gt5 winner now he is challenging Valeside for the gte series now let me tell you through the tables Valeside leads the way 14 points clear of g who is sadly not with us for the rest of this season on orthodox then is 21 points behind Valeside. then it's foul guest this man disco is currently p5 with andy p6 hopefully we can get andy in tonight as well x marks p7 and as we're all aware and we'll say again that we wish x mart and the the story family best wishes in terms of uh, daughter jessica's speedy recovery after uh, surgery the other day so we wish all the story family a, a, a best wish and hope that they get better and we hope to see Exmar on the track sooner rather than later with some positive news as well. Fury missing tonight he's in P8, DJ Phil's P9 as he's not here yet either so a few people missing tonight and a lot of the boys down the bottom end of the grid like BT Targaryen who's not here Gar gives the chance for Gary Sutty that bozzy boy the much nuts a chance to get up that order a little bit Jamie and get themselves in a decent position yeah, so the people not being here it just means that they're going to get nothing, and yeah, people lower down are just they're not going to challenge uh, unorth dubs or veils. Like, but they could just get themselves up into a better position, and then at the end, at the end of the GTEs, look back and think that they did think how good a job they did. Yeah, and the thing to note here is that um, eight drivers on the grid, a few of these guys down that bottom of the order, are all then able to sort of take positives from this and can take a lot of points that they can score and going into this championship fight next week live at uh, Sakita or Suzuka as we know it as we say a good evening to Ian Thompson as well as Disco McDisco face in the chat we know Suzuka is a circuit we're not really sure of Watkins Glen so for the chance it likes a Bozzy and, and Gary and Sutty the chance to really climb up the table ahead of Phil and BT and Fury and X Mark gain some points over them and sort of look mid-pack uh, when they've not done all season themselves obviously if they go into next week and do next week as well then it'd be an interesting one to see where they would finish overall and had Gary and Sutty done the full season where, where they'd have come all in all do you know what I mean? Yeah and say with with less people here it gives people gives the drivers such as say that Bozzy boy and Sutty and Gary a chance to to get on the podium say mm. we know we know all three of them are quick drivers, but say, Valeside and Unorthos and G when he's been in, just been on a different level, so they just haven't really been able, yeah, to get in, get in the podiums and Fury as well because Fury's been right up there. So, his podiums have been quite hard to come by. But say with less people, 
on the track it just gives gives them an opportunity to get a podium I'm, I know one one person who'd love love another podium after after his first one in the pro last night yeah that's that bozzy boy took a pro in race two at uh, Dubai last night great battle with uh, unorthodubs as well as Fury's granddad now joins us in the chat saying go on orthodox uh, yeah that bozzy boy took a great podium for himself and really put himself in a good position in terms of scoring some good points to get that mid-table finish that he's been wanting and what has been an up and down season for bozzy in the pro in his first year in the pro he's ending it in a bit of a purple patch because great pace last week at Laguna good pace last night at Dubai and I think if you're if you're Liam you've got to be looking at the right pace at the minute Gary tonight then not racing in his traditional Porsche but obviously with him only being reserve driver he's racing in the Ford GT tonight and not going in the Porsche so what can Gary do tonight will we see him maybe using the setup of, uh, of unorthodubs as that is either Sooty, Falgast or Bozzy just behind him but they can't see Gary at the minute it's Gary oh and the Porsche just take a bit of curve Gary holds on to it the Porsche didn't unorthodox drove goes into the pits that was Falgast who pits as well so Gary into the pits what do we have as well what sort of uh, appearance marks do we have for these boys tonight let me just load up the right uh, st uh, page for this one Jamie do we have any track facts or track statistics before the end of quality of practice uh, I don't have the exact date, but I believe that F1 has raced around this track. If I I'll just get get it up, but I, I do believe F1 has raced around here. Um, say IMSA race around here. I think IndyCar race around here as well. So quite quite a few high level championships race around here. Now, if Andy races tonight, that'll be his 43rd start here at Simplay Motorsport. Oh, Gary just lose. For Gary, this is going to be race start number 62. That Bozzy Boy will make race start 61. Sutty Apex will be on his 52nd, uh, 53rd race start tonight, as Daniel Francis is uh, the next man to make his 50th, which will be next week at Monza. You scroll down the list, you look at the names there, though. You've then got the likes of G, who's not here tonight. He's made 26. Nicky's made 25 race starts. Can he add to that if he gets in tonight? Then you've got the likes of Disco who's making his 21st race appearance um, in this one so far. Falgast on, on Vale side, obviously only on low numbers at four at the moment, as is the Mugs Knox only making his third start here. And then you go to the race wins, and, and for Dan to win tonight, he'll equal Fury's record of 12 race wins at the moment. For Vale side, who's already got two wins this season, he'll jump up to a third race win if he can get a win in this one and he'll be in the column with some very very talented people who's mainly won GT3 races but races nonetheless and there'll be people such as uh, Welsh, Emo Guy, NJ, Little Each, Arjun, Andy uh, all in that list of several race wins then in this one and I'm not sure why But that is uh, something's gone wrong yeah, with the monkey boy, monkey boy race win. So apologies about this a second. And, uh, not one. Oh, we've just got a bit of lag from Jamie there. So I don't know if Jamie. Yeah, is it? so uh, yeah, are you there? Yeah, it's not just not just a couple. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, uh, F1 hasn't raced around here just a couple of times. So they've raced around here here for 20, 20 odd years, from nineteen sixty one to nineteen eighty. Well, there we go then. 1961 to 1980, a good 19 years of racing around this track. 11 people watching Six Lights. Guys, hit that thumbs up button. Yeah, and the uh, the track is actually owned by um, by the, by NASCAR. Well, there we go then. As Gary then currently P5 on track, some time to find for himself in this Ford at the moment. Then, as we are heading into the final minute of practice. Early morning start here, a 5 a.m. race start. Then, as we switch to that Bozzy boy, he's all over the back of the Mucks Nuts, who's not yet set a time. And that Bozzy boy just a little down on his pace at the moment. Then, as he's 10 seconds up, so he might uh, might jump on Orthodox, who's uh, clearly not put in a, a very quick lap at the moment. Yeah, he might just might just not put of enough time in focusing on getting the GT3 championship done. No, that's nuts quite wide out of there and say not not getting the time in so he's not able to find where the puddle puddles are around here in the optimum line yeah then as we uh, look at Bozzy then we just edit the grid order no DJ Phil tonight so 
He's not here. No Fury. He's not here. Oh. No Xmart. He's not here. No Andy. He's not here. So it will be. This will be your grid order. Then it will be the Mutz Nuts on pole position. It'll be that Bozzy boy in P2. It'll then be Sooty P3 with Gary in P4. It'll then be. Uh, Disco with Disco Face P5 with Falgas P6 on Orthodox P7 and Veilside will start P8. Only the eight drivers in, so the Mutz Nuts will lead everybody away. And then it'll be all go from there. In this one, Evening Peace will step down. Evening to Fury's Grandad as well, and Ian Thompson and Disco with Disco Faces. Here comes Dan, 11 seconds up on his time. And Gary improved his time a little bit. Look at Sooty. Sooty showing good pace at the minute. Just a couple of just a tenth off the back of Vale side and only a couple of tenths, only half a second nearly off the back of uh, of Disco with Disco face. So could Sooty be coming in for a quick chat? Over his race and the situation going off here then. 30 lap race for you. As uh, we have to I think it's a little shorter than the 45 minutes scheduled, but we do have to cut it a little bit shorter tonight as, uh, as I'm, unfortunately, I've got uh, quite a few personal things to sort out, so uh, we have to cut it a bit short tonight. But uh, 30 laps nonetheless, so hopefully that will be around the 45-minute mark. And as we're seeing in the rain at the minute, 148, I mean, whether that is proper good pace... Yeah, so that might just be a qualifying setup. That corner there looks quite tricky. I've seen both Liam yeah. and Dan just run it wide out of there. So, so we've yeah, done a couple of laps. So we've done a couple of laps around here, and um, yeah, it's not yeah. not the easiest of corners. Speaking of Gary One Three One in the chat, evening all. Big congrats to Dan on last night's victory. Yep, the season one and two pro champ acknowledging Dan doing a fine job then. But there is your practice time, so we're going to get ready for qualifying uh, for the race now so it will be a, 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 a warm-up lap parade lap if you will where the mutz nuts will start himself on pole that will be followed by that bozzy boy sooty apex will be p3 with gary fourth disco fifth foul guest in sixth on orthodox seven everybody tonight and then veil side p8 shame to not get everybody in tonight jamie yeah it's a shame not to have everyone in but as we saw on when on wednesday night with with the lack of numbers it can still bring good racing yeah only eight drivers on wednesday night and that brought us some fantastic stuff at dubai as well which was quite interesting to commentate on to be fair to say there was low numbers the racing was still mm. brilliant to watch yeah to say that was that was very very good very good so hopefully we can have something like like that tonight indeed we hope for that one there uh, for those who missed it earlier in today if you're in the group or on the discord if you uh, haven't already there's still eight seats left for the Clio Cup obviously if we get more numbers there will be the possibility of doing two leagues of the Clio Cup racing but for those who missed it still eight seats available to sign up for the Clio Cup for next season um, in which myself and Jamie will be bringing you live coverage of that one already some great names listed on the grid and um, hopefully we get a few more as well it's going to be that's going to be an interesting season to keep our eyes on as well but uh, at the moment it is uh, i say at the moment it is we are waiting for these drivers to ready up fury's mum evening all go for it on orthodox says fury's mum so nice to see the fury massive here even though fury's at work bless him and uh, i hope he's not working too hard or i hope he is working hard to be fair <laughs> But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure obviously Fury would love to be here, the Pro Am and the Pro Champion qualify uh, racing together on the grid. So the Mutz Nuts, then, just to remind you, will be on pole for this formation lap. Then followed by that Bozzy Boy, it will then be Sooty Apex, Disco Mc, uh, Gary One Three One, Disco Mc Disco Face, Val Guest on Orthodubs and Vale Side. So the formation lap begins then, and the Mutz Nuts will just tuck into the race lead here as. Um, Sooty for some reason has gone. I don't know why. I don't know where Sooty's going, but he needs to back off, and yeah, he has now. Right so now. the Mutch Nuts is going to take pole position, and that will be where yeah, he starts. So that Bozzy boy, sorry, oh. Jamie, that Bozzy boy will just slide into second. 
Yeah, I wonder whether Sutty's just done that just to get a bit of bit of um, mm. temperature in the tyres. Yeah, good shout that one. Interesting shout that. Falgas going for slicks, he says. With the weather getting better as this race goes on, he's going for slicks. So, grid order. Let's go through it, Jamie. Much nuts. That Buzzy Boy P2. Uh, Sutty Apex P3, Gary 131 P4, P5 is Disco McDisco face, Falgas P6, um, Dan P7, and Vioside P8. The cameraman just not picking them all up there then, so it is down to the much nuts to lead these guys away. They am getting sitting right, pretty much next next to the match yeah. nuts there. As, oh, Andy's joined, but he's oh. going to miss the race, so Andy just yeah, cutting it a bit late, too uh, late there. What a shame the practice session wasn't that little bit longer for Andy to get himself in, because that is a real shame. Evening Peaceful Stepdad and Evening Fury's mum says uh, them two in the chat. Good luck, everyone, says Peaceful Stepdad. DJ Phil as well joined, so them two then just a little late to the party here. And as we are about to go racing, it will be... I say we're about to go racing, actually, we've still got three or uh, four so corners good, so left, actually. I yeah, thought I was... <laughs> Still got half the track left. <laughs> so then, Jamie, just as these drivers get towards the end of their laps, um, what are we expecting tonight? Who are you tipping for the race win? Uh, from pace in practice, I, I'm going to put my money on on uh, Apex. Yeah, do you know what? I think I'm going to go the same thing, but watch out for an Orthodubs and Vale side at the back of the grid. That will be a fascinating one just, as just well. Just something I'm noticing... Um, Falgest and Orthodox and Valeside are a long way back. Yeah, so I wonder what has happened there. They don't seem to have any damage, but down the start straight, the Mutz Nuts comes now. He can go whenever, and I think he's already gone because he's already started to leave that Bozzy boy behind. Now, was that a good start from, from the Mutz Nuts? Great reactions, maybe, and caught Bozzy out a little bit. Bozzy diving, though, up the inside of turn one, and somehow they don't make contact there, and Liam really giving it his all. He's got his first podium. He'd love a win against some very quick drivers when well, he's got 30, 28, 29 laps, sorry, to get the job done and he's took back in behind the Mutz Nuts now Sutty Gary P3 and 4 Disco then 5th kind of in no man's land a bit off the back of Gary but well in front of unorthodox Velside and Falgast as Dan has got Falgast and Falgast in the chat says he's going for slicks is that what has caught Falgast out here at the moment but could it work later in the race here comes the Mutz Nuts all just over the curb a little bit too much there and nicely done through that That's second sad. part on the exit Sutty Apex then has had a bit of a moment Jamie yeah he was just on the grass and the grass coming through the chicane there. Gary then now in front of Sutty, but Sutty looking to pounce back at him at this moment in time as the cameraman picks up the Mutz Nuts. Liam still pressuring him at the back and just gets a bit of a wiggle. Liam onto the grass. He just wants to take his time as he rejoins, and I think he's uh, on with no damage then. And uh, last time Liam and Gary was this close together, Liam was rolling into the back of him around Sugo as Gary was putting the lap on him. But here goes Gary then, looking for the move on the Porsche. And that Ford down a straight line should have the pace over the Porsche. And Gary will have the inside line. Does Liam give him the room? Yes, he does. Up the inside goes the uh, the former pro champion and passes that, that <laughs> buzzy boy, Sutty then, trying to get past as well as Disco. He's staying with him. Yeah. Oh, uh, Liam White. Liam's gone wide then. Yeah, Sutty, that, yeah, Sutty, no, no second invitation. He just, yeah, he's up the inside very quickly, and Liam, yeah. Liam's now down to fourth. But oh, that's Sutty! Over. Huge spin there, <laughs> and he's managed to not hit a wall or anything. But he's going to have a few drivers to come around as he spins it around before Dan and Vale side get to him. Then Falgas a long way down, but don't forget he's on the slicks. Pit window is at the end of lap seven, and for Sutty Apex then just pushing it a bit too much that's promoted Bozzy back to the podium now what can the former pro-am the former pro-am champ that's yourself Jamie what can the former <laughs> pro-champ Gary131 do about the most notes here can he get on the back of him and oh, get past it. him oh has Liam had a moment oh he has he's hit the wall spun right back around a full 360 and he moves off the track as he's not got going before Dan and Valeside come round and stays off track as well to let Sutty pass but for that Bozzy boy he's dropped to P7 quite away in front of Falgesso and if he has enough damage oh, he Gary's. can oh Gary very sideways Gary's and into the wall and Disco's got to look out here and just <laughs> scrapes Gary 1-3-1 one, one. but don't forget these guys can pit before the pit window if the damage is significant enough but Gary, Liam and Sutty have all had a good chance of a podium has that gone now on Orthodox and Valeside or through a on Orthodox is past Gary and Valeside in the Corvette looking to get past Gary but Dan here trying to bring himself back into a title race as the cameraman 
failing to pick Valeside up. There he goes. Valeside has now got past Gary, and that is Sutty behind them. So Gary and Bozzy can pit if the damage is significant enough. 15 people watching, seven lights. Guys, let's hit that thumbs up button. Very wet, tricky, slidey conditions, especially if you're hitting the curbs, Jamie. Yeah, so with Sutty, I think he hit hit that curb. I was on, a, on about Liam and Dan missing in uh, practice. That trick oh, Gary! Up Gary. Bit of a send it manoeuvre up the inside, a bit of a late dive bomb forces Valside very wide. Gary then has lost yeah, the front bumper of his car then. as well in all of that. So Ooh. will Gary have to pit? He's very, very wide. Gary really trying to push this forward to its limits, Jamie. Yeah, I think there might have been a bit of afters there. I think Valside uh, just gave him, gave him the classic um, Matt, Neal, Matt Neal and Jason Plato move just to tap him on the inside, open the door door for himself as oh, uh, what's happened to disco <laughs> yeah what has happened to disco I mean, disco face he's slow coming into pit lane entry he's got plenty of fuel but what has happened to disco there he gets it going now and he's coming in the into... pits that, that's crabbing he's got... yeah, yeah he's, hit, he's hit something and that is crabbing then so disco has done his mandatory stop that obviously the damage again you have to pit before if the damage is critical before the pit window and that clearly is for disco mit disco face this has allowed them the much not a six second lead and i tell you what dan will not be disheartened with this because he needs a good race 22 points behind Vale side to bring himself back into this title race yeah so i'm wondering whether disco was just sat there trying to alter his pit strategy because he prob he'd probably lost it just before the uh before the pit exit I wonder if he didn't pit expect pit I wonder pit if he's not put for damage on and that's what's caused him mm. to have and he's had a spin and then he's had to put damage on Gary then has dropped off the back of these two he's got Sutty attacking him Valeside trying to stick with Dan at the moment who's in the 1 minute 52 so running at decent pace so far and the track's obviously yeah. going to get quicker Falgast has pitted and he's Ooh, picked so himself he's up a 10 second it. penalty and Sutty then looking to get up the inside of Gary and has done there but the Ford good in a straight line to get past uh, get keep head Falgast so Jamie's picked himself up a 10 second time penalty for speeding in the pit lane clearly the slicks haven't worked for him mm. but Sutty so the second night in a row has done a Sutty send it uh, it's incredible what Sutty can do when he's in a good car, isn't it? The Acora last night, <laughs> the Porsche tonight, and Sutty's got himself past Gary. Can't, well, does Gary and that Bozzy boy decide to pit? Not uh, not yet, they don't. It's Gary again, a huge wiggle. Uh, Liam down in uh, P6, a bit behind. Falgas, Falgas tyres went too cold on the formation lap, he says. So that's been his problem. It's, it's a nice strategy to say that the rain will stop. In fact, the rain looks like it has just about stopped yeah. so I wonder if he's pitted for another set of slick tyres yeah say so they're just going to oh no uh, tip, the rain, the rain tipping hasn't it down. stopped <laughs> yeah <laughs> as uh, Andy yeah. leaves the session then unfortunately he wasn't oh. able to get in and Gary all over the kerb has a huge slide there manages to keep it all together and these guys are uh, sorry Velside and Unorthodubs are slowly gaining on the much notes Velside half a second quicker than Dan back to Bozzy Boy there's Disco with Disco yes. face since his pit stop yeah, there was a back marker. I was just trying to find out who it is. And it's Falgas just in the middle yeah. of uh, Vale side and then off steps there. Yeah. Falgas has done his pit stop and was in the pits long enough to uh, be able to keep it going. So, and arguably, you can say he's probably ruined his race with it that being on the drier tyre, staying uh, staying a bit smoother. But his strategy's not out the window yet. The track will dry. Obviously, it's meant to dry as the race goes on. So, Falgas is still in this race. He's still in. Yeah, he's still in this race. But I just think but the tyres are just going to gonna go too cold he's not going to have enough grip and then by the time by the time it does get dry he's just going to have lost too much time to the others to make, to make any real benefit of it yeah how much can he keep on top of this then it is going to be an interesting one to see as it is lap 5 of 30 here and the times you just see dropping a little bit here so the rain at times on certain camera angles looks like it's just slowing. Then it pans to a different one and it picks up again. Falgast is about to be lapped by Sutty and Gary is there. Is uh, the much notes as DJ Phil Green leaves the session as well. It's a shame that DJ Phil and Andy wasn't in a two or three minutes earlier to get them in for the race. It's all oh, Vale side. Now that'll be a picture that Dan wants to see, but it's a rare sight after that great win at Zolder Jamie in the rain. Vale side's dropped it. Yeah, but say so he dropped it in Zolder, but then we saw how much of a comeback he had. He had then, so could this be a repeat of that? But yeah, Dan, Dan will be absolutely loving that because he's ca catching yeah. um, the Mutz nuts quite a lot. He's by about two seconds a lap. So, real realistically, by the end of 
the next lap he should be all over the back of him and as we see as well 21 points separate Dan and Failside in the championship and let's not forget what you get for a race win as well as uh, for second place for a race win it's 25 second place it's 20 the uh, Valeside at the minute is fifth and would only score 11 so with Dan second Dan again nine points on him and maybe the fastest lap which would give Dan I mean that'll take the points down to 12 going into the final round and if Dan can get past the Mutz nuts well that'll give him an extra five points and that'll make the gap 14 so that'll really sort of close up on on Veilside in this championship you see the sun just rising and it getting a bit lighter here and with that light light comes the oh excuse me comes the uh, the the better conditions and the drier conditions will start to creep in as the session goes on I, do, I definitely think the rain has stopped now yeah it does it's still a little bit about um, but yeah it's still a little bit it just looks like it's just slide down slowed down a bit Yes, yeah, Veilside now then on the back of Gary and uh, I was going to say Sooty Apex, but Sooty looks like he's checked out a bit up front of these two. Sooty currently yeah, P3 at the moment. Yeah, it looks quite tricky out there. Just the corner, corners don't look the best in the wet as Gary, oh, Gary wide. wide. Yeah, Veilside up the inside of the car, but the forward gets the traction off the corner. Yeah, Gary looks like he's probably struggling with damage here as well, so that's not going to help things. Yeah, he's then wide off onto that cut. Onto that very tricky cut. Vale, so I'm just going to send it right the way around the outside. But the Ford will have the power down the straight. Yeah, that's the so, thing with this Ford. Down that straight, yeah, it's, uh, it's an absolute speed demon down the straights. And he's going to be in Vail's for one heck of a cup. ride. Vale, so looking for the cutback, and he's got that perfectly. Now, I don't know about you, Jamie, but the rain to me seems like it's held up a little bit. It looks like it's eased up, and it's yeah, uh, yeah it is just spitting a little bit now. And as you see there, Gary trying to get back on the lap back of Valside. And the pit window has opened at the end of this lap, so the boys can pit. So Gary and Liam, I'd imagine, we'd see in the pits. Valgast and Disco have pitted already. And uh, Gary may want to get that forward in early. Get up, may, uh, If them two pit, would it be a case of put the slick tyres on so you haven't got to pit again? Uh, I don't know. I think, I think if I was Gary, I'd just try and hold it out for as long as possible. And then as soon as I'd see a dry line forming, and the time start, time starting to tumble. I'd be in straight away to try and try and make the most of everyone else still on the wet tyres. Yeah, I think the slicks have got to be a case, haven't they, to to be able to have a chance in this race later on in the race. Obviously, they'll have to be steady on it as they go to start with. But we'll then just have to take the time as Danny is within a second now of the Mutz Nuts. Sutty's, I tell you what, Sutty actually quicker than these two last time around. So Sutty having a great race tonight in that Porsche. And on Orthodubs at the minute, he's really starting to reel in the Mutz Nuts now. Good job by the Mutz Nuts early on in this Ooh. race, showing some good pace and he's led well. Uh, DJ Phil in the chat, sorry Matthew Duffy, me and Andy was racing oh, F1. Wall, oh no, just as we say about his good luck. He's in the wall. Does Sooty Apex get past? But that has gave Dan another place here. And uh, yes, that is Sooty pass. Veilside may get through. Oh, he's lost it again. He's lost it again. So will the Mutz Nuts dive into the pits this lap? There is Bozzy and Gary avoiding them. So Liam's done well to get back through the pack here. And I wonder if them two are going to jump into the pit lane. Then as, oh, the Mutz Nuts just struggling to get going. Gary into the pits. He's retired. Uh, oh, he's retired from the race. So he won't score a point there. What a shame for the Mutz Nuts because he still had to pit. And get that one done. Oh, he's left the yeah. session. Yeah, I think I think he just burnt it, burnt his tyres up, had, having that spin. Uh, the corner before he just touched the grass. I wonder whether that got him. Just got a yeah. bit loose coming onto that tricky, tricky corner. Hit the curb and Randy went, and then he yeah say the tyres are burnt up and. Yeah, just spinning constantly. Yeah, what a shame for the much nuts then. DJ Phil, uh, sorry, we, me and Andy was racing F1 game on, on another league. Uh, the race ended around 8pm, about 10 past 8, he said. So that's why they was running a little late. Well, hopefully they can get back in for the finale next week at Sakita or Suzuka, as we all know it. Next week, hopefully they're able to get in for that one. As old oh, Bozzy Lee. sped in the pit lane. He's had another spin with the looks of that, but he's sped in the pit lane then as Disco will fly past. And now surely Liam has got to put the slicks on. Surely Gary's put the slicks on as well. Let's keep our eyes on Gary Falgest and, uh, and and maybe Disco. Did Disco put the slick tyres on as well? But let's keep an eye on their pace. The track still looks a bit wet at the moment, although Disco yes, it looks bone yeah, dry yeah. there. Go so on. Down to seven Go. drivers. 
Dan Seven, sorry, uh, Jamie. Dan Seven drivers with the much nuts disconnecting. Then what a shame for for him in this one. Yeah, that doesn't look doesn't look very dry as of yet. I think possibly about lap lap around lap fifteen that will start dry. But you can start to see a dry line forming. But I don't think it's right for this for the dry tyres yeah. yet. I think for those that are pitting now with their damage, I think it's right to get the slicks on because you'll wait, although that buzzy boy, oh no, he's just lost out to Falgast. I thought he was back in the pits, but that is how long this pit stop's taking. But you can tell from the spray he's that there's the not too much going off. And uh, there's enough. I say it's not wet, wet, it's greasy, I'd say, Jamie, as, as I'd describe it. It's greasy, yeah. it looks. Yeah, it, yeah it's great. greasy conditions, my, my favourite type of conditions. Mm. 14 people watching the stream guys leave that thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you are uh, enjoying what you're seeing if you want to fancy your chances at the Clio Cup get yourself signed up Monday night from the 30th of August on the PS4 get yourself signed up to the Clio Cup for that one at Simplay Motorsport as well where me and Jamie will be bringing you live coverage British tracks again well, is, um, oh Sutty's had a moment then so that's promoted Vale side to second which Dan won't want to see but Sutty Dan and Vale have still got to pit here and Vale is uh, that's Falgast who he's about to lap. Obviously, um, Vale had a moment, so I bet Falgast unlapped himself. Now let's keep an eye on their times. Dan in the 150s, Sutty in the 150s, uh, Falgast in the 150s himself. Now is Falgast on the slicks? Two seconds up this lap as well. I wonder if them he's slick got... tyres are just starting to get some temperature back in them. Hmm, they might be as the track starts to dry. Say, if someone went on the on the slicks now, like that. Say so if they went into the pits and put them on now, I don't think they'd work just yet. But because Valgas has got temperature in the tyres, and yeah, he's well, let's he's keep got them our eyes on. Well. Yeah, let's keep our eyes on Bozzy and Gary. We assume they've pitted for, to repair their damage and get. Oh, is he just clips the wall there? You heard the scrape across oh, the wall. He's got to be on slicks. He's put. He's pulling quite away clear of Vale side. Yeah, he has. Look at that great stuff from the Porsche and Sutty in. Now, I can only assume that that's for slicks. And is that a good decision from Sooty Apex and to get the slicks in? He looks as if he's on the pad tonight. So we'll have to keep our eyes on that one. But on Orthodox currently leads. Where's Gary131 in relation of Sooty then? Oh, he's nowhere he's near at the little, moment. Yeah, but he's a long way off. Look at that, Jamie. Very little spray. Although Gary looks like he's had another incident with the wall at the, to the front of that car. But if he's on the slicks, what is he doing? Sooty then, still not away yet. That is definitely a change of tyres for Sooty Apex as he's away now. Yeah, he's... So that's definitely a change of tyres. and Possibly a little damage. Mm. Any any damage fixed. But Gary's now coming coming down towards turn one. So it's going to be close between the pair of them. Yeah, Gary did a 151.5 last time around. So only a second off the leader's pace at this moment in time. And obviously Gary's... Slicks may need to just get up to temperature a little bit, but Falgas last lap was a 48-2, so he is one to watch in this. And look at Gary then, if is if he is on the slicks, he'll have tyres up to lovely temperature compared to Sooty Apex at the moment, and he'll be wanting to get on the back of Sooty and leave his mark here. This is for the final podium spot at the moment, but the top two have both got to pit, and Sooty was only nine seconds behind Valeside, so if Valeside, if these slick tyres start to turn on for Gary and Sooty, could these two maybe make it? Oh, it's Sooty there, just a. So that's a, that's a line, Sutty. Yeah, there might just be a puddle sat on sat on the exit of um, mm. sat exit of chicane, isn't? So another track, say in America, Daytona. There's a there's a nice puddle that sits on the ed edge of the chicane. There, yeah, so there that is. could could just, yeah, it could be the same here. So then Gary all over the back of Sooty Apex at the moment and uh, will want that podium after last night. I'm sure he'll want to get himself in the commentary box. But three seconds up on his best lap and his best lap, a 151 was last time round. Dan's in the 49s. Dan's not yet pitted. But look at the pace of Falgas last time round, a 46-2. He's going to be all over the... He could be all over the back of Disco. Is Disco pitted? Disco's Ooh. pitted, but as he put that wet tyre on, as Sutty tries to close the door, is that Bozzy in front? I think that might be Bozzy just in front of these two then, who is a lap down. Yeah, it is. He's a lap down on these two. As uh, Gary Sutton. and Sutty are yeah. fighting this one out. We've not seen this for a while in the Pro Series. We mm -hmm. 
Sutty being in the Accora this year as well as learning the wheel last season, but it's nice to see these two fighting it out on track again. And look at the pace of Gary into the 47s. And as Sutty's out, that was a 58. And Gary sends one up the inside of Sutty, but Sutty's already planned it. And he'll be <laughs> chuckling to himself in that in that party. You know what Sutty's like, Jamie. He'll be giggling all day long about the cutback on, on Gary there. And Liam has to put the brakes. Oh, and that's caught Sutty out. Oh, we saw Liam make a huge mistake and Sooty's going to have monumental damage there than Gary. Three seconds quicker than Veilside and two seconds quicker than Dan. Dan and Veilside, I reckon, need to get themselves in the pit sooner rather than later, Jamie. Yeah, I can say they've got, he's got a decent gap over over Gary at the minute, but say the longer there's down that wet, uh, Dan's, Dan's in. already in. Yeah, Dan's he's in. Already, he's already Great heard. decision. Great decision. Sutty, we'll expect to see come into the pits again. Then Veilside stays out for another lap. And look, there is not a bit of spray. Is that going to lose Veilside? Second place to Gary 131, who is flying at the minute. Veilside of 49-6. Where is Sutty? He's crawling along at the moment. Bozzy Boy as well with big damage crawling along. They've got to get to lap 25 to score points. But I tell you what, I fancy Gary here for getting on the back of, of Veilside when Veilside comes into the pits. Where's Gary in relation to Dan? Okay, Dan's, Dan's on his way it. out. So, yeah, Gary's not close enough to Dan at all. But I tell you what, I fancy Gary to maybe get Veilside. That gap's down to 34 seconds. Uh, he'll, yeah, he'll, he'll definitely get Veilside. I think Gary here could be on for a second place and playing second fiddle to an orthodubs again. We've heard that all season in the GT3s and yet again as Gary will play second fiddle to an orthodubs then. And at the moment, Sutty then back into the pit. So that'll probably lose him out to Disco and Falgas, but we'll still score some good points here. And now, Sutty, maybe a fresh set of boots or keep the same boots on. What do you reckon? Uh, I was going to say, I'd, if I was Sutty, I'd keep the... Keep the same set of boots on. Oh, oh Disco's back coming. in. So he clearly put the wet tyre on when he pitted earlier. Didn't change the tyre. The track's dried up. So Disco then into the pits. Gary, last time round a 46.7. So flying at the minute. Three seconds quicker than Veilside. And that gap's now down to 32 seconds. So Disco's past Sutty due to where the pit box is. But Falgast and Liam. Well, in fact, Liam, you'd imagine, will come back into the pits. Although I don't think he has at the moment. No, Falgast then up to fourth. There's Liam, he's, he's a long, 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 long way from the pits. He's got massive damage. Yeah, Gary's, got the gap down, Gary's got the gap down to 30 seconds as Veilside now comes into the pits. No tyre change for Disco, bad to worse. He says when he pitted early, he's just put in the stream. So Disco's had to change his tyres, but he's still out before Sutty Apex. And as Sutty's coming out just behind Disco, but Disco face Veilside in. You see the two white dots on the map. Dan then will clearly get past. But let's keep our eye on that second white dot. Where's Gary then? Second fiddle to Dan all season. Ten seconds behind him at the minute. Can Gary get himself ahead of Veilside? I think he he's will, you know. Get, yeah, yeah, he will. Veilside's now on the move, but I think it's too late. Gary then exits the final corner. Down the start straight he goes. Veilside is on the move and will hit the pit limiter any time now. But Gary sails past. And look at Veilside. He's got to get some green cones before he can hit the limiter. Gary is away then. Can he gain the 10 seconds to catch up to an orthodox? A 44 dead for Gary last time round. So that is one heck of a lap so far. And I tell he's you what, eat. Jamie. Gary's <clears> looking good. He's going to want revenge for uh, Dan's... Dan taking his GT3 title. Oh, he will want revenge for Dan taking his GT3 title. And as this track rubbers in, it's going to start to get that bit quicker. The thing is, is Dan's not going to want to fall into Gary's clutches. He knows how good Gary is a racer and he knows how quick Gary can be. And he wants them points over Veilside in terms of maybe Dan winning a third championship in a month. What a story mm. that would be for an orthodubs. Yeah, so he, he, he needs to leave, leave some, of, some of the championships for other people. Yeah, what he needs to do, he does, he does, yeah. What he needs to do, though, is hope that Gary can stay in between himself and Veilside as Sutty then is looking on the back of Disco. These two are about 20-odd uh, seconds behind uh, Falgast. I think Sutty could get Falgast here within Falgast's time penalty as Disco oh, then. Oh, he's back in the pits. What's happened to Disco? Has it not changed his tyres again? Or... Oh, no, he may have to do it manually. 
I know normally when you load a pit, a pit strategy up, it doesn't do it. You may have Disco may have to input it manually, and I hope that's not um, the case for the BMW because where's Bozzy? Bozzy could get past yeah, Disco Bob. here. He lames a long way yeah, off. I, I remember, I remember where uh, Dis Disco had the exact same problem at Hockenheim back when he was in the Pro he did. Yes, no, he did. He did indeed. As Disco goes now, then has that one got it sorted? Thirteen people watching nine lights, guys. Hit that thumbs up button. But Sutty now has been released onto Falgest. Can he get that time down? You look at Gary, five tenths quicker than Dan on the last lap. Still ten seconds is the gap between them, but he's pulling away from Valeside. To Gary could help Dan. Uh, mm. Dan, Dan stripped him of his pro title, but Gary could help Dan here take a third championship in a matter of days at the moment. Yeah, he could, but say it's good. still going to be a tall order. Mm. 20, 22 points behind Vale's side, 22 rounds that he's going to need. Say it. Say if we have the same number of people. Well, tw that, um, 21 points behind Vale's side, actually. Yeah, but say. If we have a good number of people at um, Tequita oh, or Disco. Oh, Disco. Oh, he's done well not to put that in the wall. Very well held there from Disco. He's got Bozzy 33 seconds behind him. And he's got Sutty now 35 seconds in front. Got to get to lap 25 to score a point here. But for Gary at the minute, just lost a bit of time to Dan this lap. But he's still pulling away from Valeside. Yeah, but say, Gary was still quicker than on all stops last last lap but say what what I was on about is uh, if if we have everyone well near enough everyone back for uh, Suzuka that could mm. could help Dan especially if uh, Valeside has a bit bit of a poor race or it could hinder him it could do we'll have to keep our eyes on that one Suzuka a chat where the Corvette could go well um, next week but I mean at the minute the gap difference is 10 points tonight so far between Valside and Dan so Dan will outscore him by 10 that'll close the gap to 11 if he gets past his lap that'll be another point and he'll only need Valside to finish third with Dan to fin to win it to get himself another another title here and you have to admit Dan has raced brilliantly this season yeah he has he's just been just been so consistent and un yeah just pretty unstoppable in terms of winning championships Come on, Disco says Peaceful Stepdad in the chat. 14 people still watching Nine Lights. Guys, girls, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you are knowing. Gary, again, up on his delta is him and Dan. Both in the 43s, then a veil side, only in the 45. So Gary and Dan here pulling a monumentous gap out over veil side. Yeah, so veil, veil side might just not have got the dry, got, got a good dry setup. And mm. say so this, this track is quite has quite a few long straights so perhaps the lack of power from the Corvette is just, just not really helping Valside here yeah we'll have to see what happens with uh, Gary and uh, Dan in a moment but I mean Gary up on his time again and let's not forget Jamie the track's getting you know we're getting later into the day we started at 5am we're rolling into the daytime as normal you know the more the sun's rising the track's drying out even more the track's rubbering up even more so these times are going to start tumbling here, and I reckon we could be seeing a 40s, 30s time maybe by the end of this race, because these times are definitely tumbling. Yeah, they are. It's just going to be who can who can find those times, who can, who can find the limit of the car. Can well, say. look at Dan, 42.1, so he's well on the pace here, and he's well, he's really pushing that Ford GT. As Gary crosses line, he does a 43 one, so lost a second to Dan there, but the times are really, they're really starting to make a lot of time up here, as Gary very wide at the exit to turn one. Yeah, but say, I think Gary will be, Gary will be happy with a P2, say, with the races he's done so far in the GTs, he's not he's not had the best of results. But mm. say getting a P, getting a P2 in front of Vale side as well. That, that I'm pretty sure he'll be happy with that. That's look, if he stays there. Well, that is that that is true. We look at Gary again up on his delta. And obviously, lap times count for nothing here apart from fastest lap, which I have, which I have to say is going the way of an orthodox at the minute. Vale side, one point one point six seven slower than Gary last time around, so he is struggling. Sutty a lot quicker than Falgest, and Sutty's actually gaining on Falgest here. Now, if we go towards Falgest, I think uh, I mean front bumper dangling a little bit, maybe a bit of damage for him there. Then Disco's lapping in the 43s as well Disco was actually quicker than Gary last time out so them tyres have changed now 
Oh yeah, the soils will change now, but it's too set too little, too late. Well, what can he do in terms of gaining on Sutty or Falgast in this race? Falgast don't forget has a 10 second penalty. Disco needs to keep pushing. He's gap Bozzy by 30 seconds. He needs to make sure he can gap uh, get closer to Sutty, which he can't do. While Sutty's lapping decent laps himself, although Disco seven tenths up nearly on his Delta time. He's just behind Vale side there as well. You see. This one could be interesting. Sutty's within that 10 second range out of... Oh, we've lost Jamie Braze yet. So we'll have to stay on board Disco for a little bit then at this moment in time as uh, we wait for Jamie to get back into the session then. Disconnection once again for Jamie Braze. Yeah, like last night in the Pro-Am round two, he's disconnected again. So we await Jamie to get back in before we can change camera. But Disco here having some good pace behind Valside. He'll be picking that slipstream up shortly of Valside as well. As Dan in the 42s again, Gary goes even quicker. Disco's now down into the low 42s. Disco, the quickest man on the track last time around. So he's taking some time out of Sutty as well, who's in the 44. Sutty, just a couple of attempts low with the Vale side last time around. So he's doing quite well at the moment. And I tell you what, Falgest will be uh, looking in his mirrors shortly as Sutty's got that gap down to eight seconds. And what can they do around here then? Good stuff so far. As Jamie's back in the session. So we've got a cameraman back. <coughs> Excuse me. He's not yet in the commentary box, but we've got a cameraman back. So he's got that gap down to eight seconds, as I say. 15 people watching nine likes. Guys, let, guys, girls, let's hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new. Let's get this video to the 15 likes we need as our co-commentator is back. Uh, I was just saying, let's go towards Falgas because Sutty over the last lap has really caught up. Disco, quickest man on track last time around, but still some 30 seconds off the back of Sutty. Sutty within that eight-second mark of Falgas now. Yeah, so, it, so like I said, it would just be all, all down to who, who can push the tyres the hardest. So, yeah. Uh, and say whoever's been on the tyres the shortest amount of time will have the uh, will have the life left at the end end of the race. Yeah, Valeside then the car just in front of Disco and look at how Disco is catching up to Valeside without that spin and without them tyre problems. Maybe Disco could have been on for a podium if not a win today, but uh, who knows? Dan now uh, did a 51 last time around. So wow, what was the problem with Dan? Dan's just lapped a back mark. Then Gary's now three seconds. Who's Dan just lapped there? I think Dan has lapped Bozzy. Yeah, he has. Yeah. And that may have been the problem then. Liam has then caused Dan to lose about seven seconds to Gary 131. And uh, oh. oh, he's struggling his Liam across the corner. And he might want to stay out of the way because Gary's coming. I thought Dan may have had a spin there, but uh, he. Uh, in fact, I tell you what, I think he has made a mistake because uh, Gary's now within a second of Dan and Gary's coming and. Well, Liam could do with getting out of Gary's way here. Yeah, say after Le Mans, Liam... No, Sugo. Uh, Sugo, yeah. Yeah, Liam wasn't Gary's... Gary's wasn't, best friend. No, he wasn't Gary's best friends, but Gary now, half a second off the back of unorthodox here, and there may be a few harsh words said about this at the end. Liam flashing the lights that he doesn't have because there's no front lights on left on that car. But Gary now well up the back of Dan, and... Is this race on? Is this the pro battle that we've not had all season? Or well, we didn't have last night with Gary uh, missing out. Oh, bit of a wiggle mid-corner there for Gary, but he holds it together. And what can Gary do here? Yeah, so he's, he's, he's pushing very hard. Yeah, Gary is giving this his all. Look at Dan, they're nearly in the, in the outside wall there, the, the wall of champions it could have been called, because Gary nearly hit it earlier. Flash of the lights from an orthodox, he's got Gary now, six tenths behind him, so Dan just clawed a bit out in that final sector. Gary though, that lap was three seconds quicker. Vale side, he's got his laps together because he's down in the 42s now. Disco then in the 41, so he is lapping some great pace at the minute. And Sutty slowly creeping up on the back of Falgast as well, but we'll stay with Gary and Dan for the time being. Yeah, so I'm just looking on Dan and off Dub's personal stream just to see what what happened with Liam. Oh, you see how wet it is through the chicane still, so the mm -hmm. more that chicane dries, the more that'll uh, get quicker for these boys. But Dan, just keeping Gary at bay here, Jamie. The time's not really going up and not going down either. Yeah, so Gary's just, just keeping him honest at the minute, just let, letting him know he's there. Mm. 
Gary's just gained a little bit of time through this part of the track then as a uh, He's had a little bit of lag from the, uh, the ex-champ, Gary, up on his delta time. And, well, with that slip bit, a little bit of slipstream, he could be uh, well on his way to making a move on Dan. And we've seen Gary defend from Dan before. Can he do it again? You see the sun starting to rise here in America as well. It's interesting. That the oh, Dan. Was it me or did Dan seem very slow through that corner? Gary seemed to go a bit wider. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think, I don't think Dan was... Was too slow for you oh, there. Gary! Pushing oh. so hard, he's hit the wall! And that is all it takes, one little mistake. But is that back to Dan on Orthodubs then for the race win? Gary hit the wall hard. And he could have Valeside hunting him down any moment now then. But Gary hit the wall super hard there. And all the hard work that had been done, he's got to do again. Uh, back to the Sooty Valeside battle then. That gap, four seconds here. Sorry, the Sooty Falgas battle, sorry. That gap is down to four or five seconds. Sooty just lapping a bit quicker than Falgas. Where are them two on the circuit? As we don't appear to have Jamie with us at the moment. Hopefully we can get him back to get you Falgas and Sooty Apex. But Gary then, hopefully his car's not too badly damaged. Look at how wet that chicane is at the moment. Disco's unlapped himself from Veilside. Ouch, Gary, says Fury's granddad. Indeed, Tony, a big, big hit there. And that has allowed Dan to get eight seconds up the road. As you see, the marshal doing a brilliant job waving his green flag at the side. And uh, just see again, Jamie, are you back? Can we get to Falgast and Sutty if possible? Nope, still no Jamie then. So I don't know where uh, we've lost Jamie to. But at the minute, Gary is now 8.6 behind Veilside, six seconds behind Gary at this moment in time, as I do believe we've just got Jamie back. Uh, Jamie, yep. can we get to Falgast and Sooty, bud? Sooty's, yep. lost a, Sooty's lost a bit of time, dropped down to six seconds behind now, as Falgast, you see there with that bumper still banging along, Sooty's still got a broken car from when him and Liam made contact, or has he been in the wall again? We'll have to wait to see, but his laps have been good, but he's just started to drop off to Falgast. Yeah, so I think think he must have hit the wall again because say so does much more damage than uh, than that. So I think he's had that repaired and then. And what yeah, a shame as well because if you can stay within that ten seconds to Falgast, he should get that place done. The chicane still very wet on the exit. Look how wet that is, but Sooty taking that no problem then, and has gained a few tenths on Falgast in this middle sector. Yeah, so he's now trying to push. Push hard to, to try and get Valgast on track so he doesn't need to, to pass Valgast, but he should, I think he just wants the satisfaction of passing Valgast on track. Yeah, he, he had a good battle with Valgast at Zolder before Fury had a spin and, and Sutty got caught up in that one. He, he'll he obviously want to get back through uh, again here and chase Valgast down yet again. Sutty choosing the Porsche, now a Cora in the GTE category. What a shame because I'm sure Sutty would have loved to have been in that one. <laughs> Gary then, two seconds slower than Veilside last time around. That gap's down to six seconds. This one's at 5.4 between Sooty and Falgest. Disco's only 19 behind Sooty. So Disco's really been motoring since he's got on the right tyre. Yeah, so, he, so if he'd got, been on the right tyre to begin with, then uh, I reckon he could have probably been up been up there with yeah. uh, Gary and the North Dubs. Yeah, I reckon so. I reckon he's had... Uh, Bit of an unfortunate on his pace. Look, quickest man on track last time out by a couple of tenths with Disco McDisco face. Sooty, a couple of tenths quicker than uh, Svalgas here. So did Sooty just make a mistake on the last laps? He's matching Falgas pace. They're a bit slower than Veilside. And, oh, that buzzy boy struggling again here. Yeah, he's cruel. Has he run, he hadn't run out of fuel? No, I don't no. quite know. What oh, go on the speedo again. Now, Bosley's had problems with his pedal quite a lot this season. Yeah, there you go. Look, him just revving it up. And now he's going... I think he's had another yeah. pedal problem. I wonder if he's... He's been saying that the problem with his pedals, for those who don't know, uh, his pedals disconnect. The wire seems to come loose on the wheel and it, his pedals disconnect, so he loses everything. It happened to him last night when he We've led... Lost someone. ...at Le Mans. We have lost someone. We've lost Disco. Oh, what's oh, happened? What's happened there? 
What's happened there? Oh, and Gary's struck behind Vale's side. He's not got no oh, rear wing. Oh, he's lost his rear wing. So Gary's lost his rear wing then. What has happened to, to Gary131? What has happened to Disco McDisco face? But Gary then still on for that podium. But we've lost Disco. And that's another set of points that Buzzy's going to claim. Sixth place he's going to claim here. That's a good 10 points for Liam. And that will shoot him up above DJ Phil and BT Targa and above Daniel Francis. But will put him on the back of Fury and Xmark. Disco then will probably lose out to Gary and Sutty as well. But we're away as... Oh, there we go. I won't repeat that one in the chat. But... Um, not happy with Gary then, as Bozzy comes into the pits. Yeah, so there might not have just been a bit of an altercation whilst whilst Gary was lapping Disco or Disco was trying to unlap himself. But say whatever, whatever's happened, it just means Disco's out of the race and uh, Gary's got no real wing. So I yeah. wonder if yeah, we've seen, wonder we've seen Gary hit the wall, or Jamie. I wonder if Gary's had damage, and that's been the problem. And so he's going to have to pit. He's got 50 seconds to foul guest. He surely got to box, and I he does with, box. Mm, I wonder whether Gary's just braked and caught Disco out or whatever. But I think Disco somehow ended up in the rear, in the rear of Gary. But, so putting these two incidents together, that looks like what's happened. Now, what I will say about these GTE boys is we've not had any footage to reveal all season, Jamie, so mm. it's been nice. Yeah they've been, yeah, they've been fairly quiet. Yeah, I've got a feeling we may have our first bit of footage of the season. Sutty's got past Falgest. Now, what has happened Falgest to Falgest then? Fal oh, that was Falgest there who's had a spin, and he looks like he's got some big damage on the rear and front of that car. So is Sutty then back on for a podium? Now, is Gary out the pitch yet? No, no, not yet. Sooty, Bozzy's out the pits. Where's Sooty? There, he's got Dan just, yeah, just behind him. So Sooty then coming round to the start line. Gary, Gary not yet away. Sooty will get him here. Gary's now on his way out. But it's too, say that's too late. It's too late in terms of Sooty Apex, but he'll be on the back of Sooty. And what was chasing Dan down for the race win? earlier is now hunting uh, Sutty down for that podium and P3 spot well that has done Dan no favours as he uh, has lost now second place he's going to lose five points to Veilside and that's not going to help in terms of the title Veilside could be the man to win this one we'll have to get the top three in for a quick word at the end of this one Jamie but um, so far so good if you're an orthodubs and Gary needs to get on the back of Sutty as soon as possible yeah, Dan, just a bit of a cheeky cut there, trying to just want, just want him to get past that as quickly as possible. Oh, he's uh, Oh, he slid through there and he's lost third place to Gary. He has lost third place to Gary, so Gary then back on the podium, so it'll be uh, interesting to hear that one a, bit, a little later on. Mm -hmm. But can Sutty get back on the pace of Gary now? That's the big question. Yeah, so he might have a little little fight here for the podium. In yeah, last, the, old, last few laps. the old rivalry of season one between Sutty and Gary as Gary now is on the back of Dan. I tell you what, Gary could pass Dan here and unlap himself because I think Dan uh, yeah. Gary <laughs> may be a bit quicker than, uh, than than Dan here. With the Did he put fresh tyres on as well? That would be a good one for fastest lap. Veilside into the 41s. Now, Disco did retire, so he can still get fastest lap of this race, provided he doesn't leave the session so that we can't see it. Overheating tyres, says Falgest. Uh, so, yeah. See, he he was on his um, six for a very yeah. long time. Been on them, we reckon, since he pitted early on in the wet when he said his tyres had lost temperature. So, Bozzy then needs to get to lap 25 to score some points I believe he will but at the minute He's, he is currently on lap 21 yeah so I reckon he should get to 25 where is Buzzy on track He's, oh they're all sort of this half of the circuit so yeah he's, he's the closest one to starting his 22nd lap 
Um, so Dan's still got five laps to go, so uh, yeah, Liam should get to lap 25. Uh, it looked a bit slow there. I didn't know whether his pedals had just gone again, but... I think Dan, Dan then just starting to pull away from Gary a little bit, but obviously Gary's a lap down 14 seconds to Vale side, and Unorthodox here will match the race win record of Fury, or tie that race win record of Fury for 13 overall. And I tell you what, them two are close, get, are getting close to Gary's uh, record here of 16. Mm. And that will uh, that will not be what they want at this moment in time. I was going to say, I don't think. When was the last time Gary had a win? I can't remember. The, oh, Gary's dropped it though. Oh, he has. <laughs> yep. So he just got. So Sutty's back up into P3. When was the last time Gary had a win? Uh, well, it was a GT3 race. And it was... Was it Laguna Seca last week? No, that was P2. No, was, Gary hasn't no, won since round two at uh, race two at Donington Park in the GT3. So it's been a while since we've had Gary in that, for a win. That, that's been at least half a season. Yeah, that's been a long time without Gary having a win at the minute and can he gain up to Sutty then a couple of seconds behind to to get on the back of Sutty yeah, he's about, about six seconds behind so he's going to need Sutty to make a mistake or just to be absolutely on it here Failside again in the 141s with a 141 dead I said we might be seeing a 1 minute 39 by the end of this race Falgest has had to come in then his tyre's overheated he can't take enough of it then his tyres have clearly shot it and that's ruined his race really for Falgas but he's still going to come away with a P5 he's got plenty of time back to that buzzy boy as Disco leaves the session so unfortunately Disco then we won't be able to see if he's going to get fastest lap or not and I'll tell you what that left hand side front tyre didn't come off very quick did it no we don't normally see these uh, this pit crew do any work but when they do it's not <laughs> It's not yeah, the it's fastest not look. Yeah, repairing no. damage now, I think, for Falgast. He's got no worries to that bossy boy. I think Dan's about to lap again here. He is. And Liam will be coming around to start his 23rd lap. So Liam's got to do two more, uh, yeah, two more laps at least. He's got to finish lap 25, so he's got to do at least three more laps, should I say. And Dan's still got uh, three or four more to do. Oh, very wide Ooh. there. Bit of a wiggle off it. Tell you what, you don't want many of them because Valside's catching Dan, you know, here. There's not enough yeah. time to do it, so Dan doesn't need to push, really. He needs to make sure he keeps it on this road. Mm, he don't want to push too hard that, that he has a spin and fails like, fails like he'll uh, be straight through, no questions asked. Uh, Disco in the chat saying Valside's just got the fastest with a 41-0, so Valside the quickest lap. Oh, he's in the uh, 40s now, he's in the 40s now, so that one, that one's changed, Disco, he's in the 40s now. As he's a bit wide through the exit to turn one and he hunts down to lap Gary 131 who's gained on Sutty a little bit. Yeah, it's just under four seconds now. So what can Gary 131 do in terms of Sutty Apex? I'm just sitting here waiting to hear Gary's side says Disco. Well, he's not on the podium yet. Popcorn ready, says Disco in the chat. Well, Gary's not in the uh, on the podium yet, so we're not going to hear from him at the moment. But he is gaining on Sutty. It's yeah, been a while. Yeah. It's been a while, really, hasn't it? Since we've heard from both Gary and Sutty in terms of the podiums. Yeah. So Sutty, I don't I don't believe Sutty's been in for a podium interview since season two. No, he hasn't. GT threes. Brought him Gary, in for an interview but... in qualifying two after his good. Q1 performance at Sugo in the Accora slicks in the wet um, that's the last time we spoke to Sutty on air it's Gary then has that gap just under two and a half seconds but running out of time he's a lap down as well don't forget he's Gary and Sutty so the only two on the lead lap are the front two and was that oh, somebody in the wall I think that's Bozzy yeah yeah that's, that's Bozzy Bozzy in the wall <laughs> And Liam then just needs to complete two more laps here to get to the 75%. Yeah, he's nearly there. He's nearly there to score. Yeah, score this just, just got to do this lap and the next lap, and he'll come away with a P6. As Gary then pulls over to one side and lets Valside lap himself. And that'll lose Gary a bit of time here, but what he knows is that Sutty has still got to be lapped by Gary. 
at my Vale side, so that'll slow Sooty down a little bit because obviously in the GTEs you have to get out the way. Gary will see Sooty as well. Vale side, a 141.3 last lap, so it was 1.1 quicker than Dan. If that tell you what, Dan makes one mistake. Vale side's right in with a shout here. Is that yeah, gap slowly Dan. getting under 10 seconds? Yeah, if Dan makes the tiniest of errors, then uh, yeah, Vale side will be all over him. Fail sides left, Gary then and hunts down Sutty Apex to put a lap on him and Sutty will have to move out the way and let uh, Vale side through. Yeah, so this isn't doesn't really help him Vale side being stuck being stuck with no, well, uh, is, is it because Dan's got the free air and is um is struggling as Falgast has had another moment then and here comes Sutty Vale side and Gary then and Falgast I'm not sure where he is, cameraman didn't pick him up. He's, he's here, look, yeah, he's, he's to the left-hand side of the road as the leaders come through to lap Falgest. He's just on the fastest sector one as well, so he would, he could have taken the fastest lap away from uh, Valeside then. Oh, what a shame for Valeside then. Is Valeside flashing Sutty? Sutty not letting Valeside pass here, but he's meant to. Them's the rules in the GTEs, and he gets through now, but uh, tell you what, Valeside was two seconds quicker than Dan on that last lap. Is Dan just backing off that little bit? Now, Sutty, I, I tell you why he wanted to keep Valside there. He wants to stay as close to this man for P3 as possible because he knows Gary is right behind him. And Gary will want that uh, race win. We'll have to keep our eyes on Dan, though, as Liam, I think, has just started lap 25. Yeah, lap 25. So Liam will finish this, which will be the last lap, and uh, we'll get that sixth place when he finishes this lap. Oh, Sutty there across the grass, bit of a wiggle. And now look at yeah. Gary starting to get on the rear of of Sutty Apex so he's going to be defending for all oh Valeside's like dropped it and is that going to play havoc into this battle well I didn't see them have to avoid it so Dan then will claim the win for sure now that Valeside's dropped it there Gary looking around the outside of Sutty Apex then at the moment this will put not Gary on the podium yeah, not going to get it done there. So Sutty's going to be hugging that inside line. Duck. Not want Gary to get a podium. Like, Gary yeah, tries right. around the outside again, but gets forced a little wide there. We're going to have to cut to Dan. As Dan's coming up to the final corner, and I tell you what, it's going to be race win number 13. It's going to be championship a bit closer for Dan. He's done a great job tonight. Race win 13 here at Simplay Motorsport, and the GT5 and Pro Champ hasn't won the race yet. We're on the last lap. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, got a bit. Uh, so we've one lap to go. Gary might have Sutty here then. He's gonna have to run on him down the straight. Yeah, Sutty's, Sutty's, Sutty's got that inside he, line. Let's not forget. Keep it up, Dub says. Peaceful step down. And Gary round the outside. Does he run a little too deep? Sutty keeps a nose in, and this is great racing from these two rivals of old. Sutty being able to keep it there. Gary trying to go the long way round again. Has he got it done? He'll be up the inside for this little flick. Sutty still there though, and uh, down this little section of straight they come. Sutty will be up the inside for the chicane. But has Gary got the run in the straight? Yeah, he he has. Sutty now tucks back inside. So where will he get the slipstream? Will we see the old Sooty send it come out? He's not going to do it there. And I think Gary... Oh, he's had a huge wiggle at the chicane. And Sooty's back ahead here. So Gary at the moment managing to mess up what has been a decent little scrap between these two. And I'll tell you what, the rivals of old. It's good to see these two go back at it once again. Oh, oh I tell you what. Gary and Sooty... Oh, what's happened? Sooty's round. Gary, I think Gary got into the rear of him. Fell so down. Yeah, Sutty Can't needs to get out of Vale Side's way here as the leader is coming through. Sutty kind of just sitting in the middle of the road. Gary's going to have to yield for Vale Side and does so. Sutty should be doing the same thing here. Gary's trying to hunt Sutty while Vale Side's trying to lap the pair of them. And I, I think sensibly there, Vale Side's backed out of that one. Now we need to go to Dan. As Dan now, a flash of the lights. He's a 13-time race winner here at Simplay Motorsport. Does it in style here at Watkins Glen. It's going to be Valeside to finish second. He's backed out of this little fight, so we get this scrap across the line. Gary or Sutty for that final place. Gary tries to go up the inside, touches the rear of Sutty, and Gary into the wall. Sutty has a wiggle. They both somehow keep going. That is, I think, Falgas to Gary. 
just cuts in front of, but it looks like Sooty Apex is going to do it on the road. He's going to block Gary everywhere. Gary goes, and here comes Gary at the line, and Sooty takes it just at the line. What a drive from them too. Valeside takes second place in this one then. Uh, a fifth place for Falguest. So a decent drive for him. That buzzy boy is going to come home to take P6. And Falgas then with a P5. So we wait for fastest lap. That goes to Vale's side here. And uh, while Jamie gets the top three in for an interview, uh, let's find out what... Yeah, Sutty Dungari by two thousandths of wow. a second. Let's get the top three in for a quick chat. And we'll see what happens there then as uh, the championship lead then is cut down to 17 points by unorthodox to Valeside. That will be for next week as uh, G now drops to third. Falgas goes up to fourth ahead of Disco. Sutty up to sixth place and can get on the back of Disco next week. Ken Gary, who's tied in seventh with Andy. Can he do anything about getting ahead of Sutty or Disco next week? Will he be here? Liam above DJ Phil, BT Targa, the Mutz Nuts, Nicky Grandad Steve, Daniel Francis and Mace Gamer then as well up into 11th place for him. But Dan cuts the deficit to Valeside and uh, good race guys loving the strategy says foul guest well done Dan great drive well done Dan says Fury's mum and Fury's granddad we are just going to wait a quick word from the top three as uh, here is your race winner we hope to get Valeside and Sutty in very quickly as well but while Dan is here we'll start with Dan and Dan 13th race win here at Simple A Motorsport you've tied now with Fu sorry 12th win here at Simple A Motorsport you're tied now with Fury in terms of race wins uh, not a bad night effort that yeah, not too bad. A uh, bit of a shame that people left, so it's yeah. a bit, bit stupid. But uh, if you sign up for the championship, you sign up for the whole season, whether you're you're enjoying it or not. You know, be fair to the to the rest of us. But no, I'll take a race win. I knew Valside had the pace on me and just had it to clear away. So uh, yeah, catching Fury and catching uh, trying to get as many uh, wins as possible. Trying to get as many wins as possible, and you've also sort of got yourself in. Um, the mix of 17 points behind Valeside now for the championship are, are you thinking about this one you've got two wrapped up can you make it a third in a month I mean 17 points going Valeside that's going to be an absolute mission I've got to hope for a retirement a disconnect or something because I, I don't see it happening I'd like to think that I can but it's what it is it's, it's, it's a good way to end this, this season so we'll, we'll see if I can catch him if not if not he's he done a better job so yeah, but, nah, it was fun racing him at the start in the wet, so it was nice. Yeah, tell us about them wet conditions. How was they? Well, everyone knows that I like the wet conditions, so to me, I was quite comfortable in them. I was quite happy. Uh, Valeside seemed to do a little bit better. He seemed to have his car a little bit hooked up for the wet, but I just took my time. When it started drying out, I just knew when to, to slicks. And yeah, it was. Uh, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. Well, well done tonight, Dan. Obviously, Pro Champ, GT5 Champ. Can it be the GT for yourself next weekend? And we've got Sooty Apex back in a lap down, but a, a, a long time since a podium for you, Sooty. It's, it's nice to see you back on the t on the podium. Yeah, it's been good. Yeah, good, good, good fun with Gary. We've had a, we had a few laughs in the party. Yeah, he had a cracking yeah. little battle there with Gary at the end, and he nearly pipped you. Two thousandths of a second was the difference between you in that one. That was that was some close stuff. Yeah, we, we had a little bit. I may have defended a little bit too hard, but I had like 20 damage on the front, suspension damage, which I evened up on that last little hit, by the way. I ended up with four and five, so it wasn't so bad. Mm. But I'm on the pad tonight, so... Ah, that actually... Struggled, a little, struggled a little bit in the wet, whereas, you know, last week when I was on the wheel, I did all right in the wet. Yeah. Um, so. that's, that's put you up the table up into P6 in a fight with Disco for fifth place. If you're around next week, will you will you be for Suzuka for a, for maybe a fifth place in the title fight? I don't know if I can. I think I'm flat out with work all next week. Ah, oh, what a shame! Sure. What a shame! Great to hear from you though, Sutty. Uh, nice to see you back on the podium. It's finally nice yes. to see you on there. Um, shame not in the Acura but in the Porsche is uh, the safest bet on this game but either way uh, nice to see you back here congratulations to Dan Valeside I don't think he's joined us has he? no no so we can't hear from Valeside no. tonight what a shame because he was the fastest lap of the day as well as taking second point uh, second place at one stage 17 points then separates the top two going into next week and I tell you what Dan could be in for probably a bit of sim play history three titles in a month can he do it tune in next Wednesday to find out join us oh. Wednesday and Thursday oh sorry can I, can I just make one shout out I just yeah, want to yeah. make one shout out 
obviously, grow, growing up as a kid, I, I've been around racing a lot, and I did a lot of BMX racing. Um, and last night, after winning GT3s, I stayed up later to see how the BMX was going to get on in the Olympics. I want to make a massive shout out to Bess Schriever for taking gold, and also Kai White for taking silver. Yeah. I grew up with those guys, I know those guys, and I, I just want to take their hats off to them. They did an absolute epic job, and they done a massive thing for BMX racing. So well done to them. And please, guys, have a look at BMX racing if, you're, if your kids are into it, anything like that. It's the best thing to do as a young sport. It teaches me how to race on here as well. So please have a look at BMX racing. Those guys did a fantastic job. So a massive shout out to them. Yeah, Sorry massive. Sh- no, it's fine. Massive shout out to them. Massive shout out to the home team, GB squad as well, who's in the Olympics. Some may say, get it, Dan, it's coming home. Um, I mean, they they brought it home to me. BMX racing is the biggest thing to me, and they brought it home. Yeah, Not the footballers, for some, sure. Some may say it's coming home, but no one's <laughs> chanting that anymore. But either way, we'll be back <laughs> next Friday night for the finale at Suzuka around uh, around 8 p.m. BST time next Friday. Join you us for that, the Matt. F- Matt, I've got something to say. So sorry you've in, but it's coming on next World Cup, boys. Um, join us join us next week for Wednesday and Thursday the Pro and Pro-Am where there is nothing to play for apart from pride can Fury well there is something to play for in Pro-Am can Fury beat Jamie Brazier's record will Argent dive bombing will BT Targa do anything about it can that Bozzy boy get another podium that's all from Simplay Motorsports Night we'll see you next week take care good night good night